Hi everyone, it's Rachel. So today I am coming with a short video. And as I was, I was looking through my bookshelf and I thought that this would be fun. So for many years, I have been on what I have called a book diet, where it means is I was not buying books. I was just using the library. My one way to get around that was the Goodreads giveaways. So as I was looking through my to be read pile on my bookshelf, I realized that I have some Goodreads giveaway books that I have never read. And so I wanted to share those with you and probably here in the next couple months, try to get to them. So I decided, so I looked through and I have actually five books that I have gotten from Goodreads giveaways. Um, two from 2014, one from 2017, one from 2018, and one from this year, 2020. So I'm going to start with the oldest book. And that is the Book of Genevieve. And I thought that that was an interesting name. The cover isn't my favorite. I just thought it was interesting and I like fantasy. And I think that this was um, a, give a giveaway that was run by the author because it is personalized to me and signed. Um, when I got it, that's when I found out that, as it says, it is book two. And so that's why I haven't read it. Because um, I haven't yet tried to look up book one. I probably will read it. Yeah, it's been on my shelf for this long. I think I still want, I do want to read it. Um, so the kind of, I looked up the synopsis just to refresh my memory. And in this, it has a Princess Genevieve, which I looked and she is not in the first book. So that's why I feel okay talking about the synopsis a little bit uh, because it isn't a spoiler. And so Princess Genevieve's ears are starting to become pointed and she is she finds out that she is of elven descent. And she also finds out that she is part of a prophecy, which is from the first book, of uniting um, dragon, human, and elven blood together. So I'm just going to stop there. So the second book that I have that's also from 2014. I was also trying to get away from just my fantasy, and so this is a nonfiction. And this book is Digging for Richard the Third. And this book is about the archaeological dig that happened uh, starting in 2012. They um, and it's not giving anything away because it talks about this in the synopsis as well. But in 2012, they start digging underneath a parking lot and find bones in the grave. And it is supposed to, this book is supposed to cover some years as they're trying to determine who it is. And they determined it's Richard III. So I am interested in this because I find the journey of how things are discovered interesting. It just takes me a really long time when I do read nonfiction, so I read nonfiction slowly. Now the third book was a complete title die. I thought the title sounded really interesting and I thought what I was getting was fantasy, or paranormal at least, but it's not. So the book is Demigods by Eliza Robertson and it's actually a literary fiction. Um, it's set in like the 1950s and it starts um, the main character, Willa, her mom gets a boyfriend who has two sons, and then Willa and the younger son, Patrick, start to have an unhealthy relationship. And she eventually wants to change that. And when she tries to change that, all it says is disastrous happenings. Or, you know, I think I'm actually going to probably unhaul this because literary fiction is not my jam at all. I normally want to hurt people when I read it, like, especially the characters. I'm like, you're being stupid. What are you doing? So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to keep this one. Um, but my library hasn't opened yet up for uh, donations. And I, the book's in good shape. Even though literary fiction isn't my thing, I know it's somebody else, it's other people's. And so I don't want to throw the book away. I do want to donate it and give somebody else a chance because, hey, they might like it. All right, so then the fourth book is You Were Made for This by Michelle Sachs. And actually, I really like this cover. I think it's very pretty. Um, I know the title interested me, the cover interested me, but after getting Demigods, I was a little more um, 
have to read this analysis before saying yes I wanted to join a good but before I joined a giveaway um, so I know that this is about two sis or two friends who are like sisters and one has a husband and a son and she seems like she has the perfect life and her friend comes to visit and immediately becomes you know friends with everyone in the family and the neighbors and because she knows her best friend so well she can start seeing like the little cracks in the facade and she realizes not everything is as perfect as it seems so it kind of has a thriller vibe and while I'm not a huge thriller person I occasionally do like a thriller and this sounded interesting so I did get it and like I said this cover is gorgeous because I hit myself <laughs> okay so the last book that I have I actually got it on my candle or I got it what the last book I got I got on my Kindle and I got it back in May and that is a declaration of the rights of magicians by A.G. Perry and this is an alternate history fantasy it sounds like it's set around the revolution French Revolution sorry and I really don't know anything more about that but I'm okay with that and even though I prefer reading fiscal books this is probably the book that's going to get read first out of all the good reads just because it's more interesting and it came out this year and I'm trying to be better about reading things that in the years that they come out to be more current of what's going on in the book world. So I'm back as I was putting away the books uh, that I talked about previously in this video I found another one and so there's actually six books on that I still need to read from Goodreads giveaways and the sixth one is Fool's Assassin by Robin Hopp. Now I have read uh, Assassin's Apprentice the first one and her that follows Fitz Chivalry and so I got this because I was like oh you know I'm interested in continuing the series but I, like I said I've only read the first one in that far series trilogy so I do want to read the other two of those before I get to this one so that is a longer off goal and this follows Fitz Chivalry when he is an adult so I guess spoiler warning he wins or he lives through the other trilogy sorry about that mm. See y'all later. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short video. It's a little bit different for me. And if you have read any of these books and want to and like them and really want to say, hey, read them sooner, please let me know in the comments. If any of them sounds interesting, it'd be cool if you picked them up and we can maybe buddy read and we can maybe buddy read them next month. Y'all have a great day. Bye.